What's up, y'all? It's Florida Georgia Line. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. We cannot wait to answer them. And special thanks to Romeo and Saturday Night Online for having us. Sally from Miami. What can fans expect from This Is How We Cruise in November? A party. Basically a party. Big old party. Uh, Tolu from Montreal. Uh, fill in the blank. I can never have too many... Oh, probably boots. Love boots. I like a good probably pair of boots. motorcycles. That's a good answer. Not bad. Haley from Brooklyn. If you could recreate any music video from the 90s, which would it be and why? Hmm. From the 90s. That's a good question. Boots Good and Boogie, maybe? Yeah. Is that the 90s? Just because Brooks and Dunn, they're amazing. They did it. Brooks and Dunn it. They did it. They done it. Paul from Winnipeg, when performing to sold out crowds, how do you try and personally connect with your fans? Uh, man, we try to take some selfies with y'all and uh, give some high fives, uh, pounded out a couple times. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We, uh, I mean, we just try to get involved with y'all and just uh, make eye contact or point, wave, whatever. Uh, it's incredible what y'all bring uh, to our shows. Anything that lights up, signs, y'all are incredible. It's always really cool to see what y'all bring. <laughs> Hank, Hank California oh, yeah. what's up dude what's your favorite genre of music to jam out to I would probably say right now kind of every genre but we'd love to jam to hip hop uh, hip hop and country probably right now for sure what is uh, Katie from Canada asked what is your all time favorite meal I'd probably say the Zaxby's chicken chicken sandwich is a uh, definite cheat day go to. Hard to beat. Or Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza is pretty good too. Hannah from Ludlow. 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 What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Definitely uh, something real chocolatey, maybe either. Uh, uh, I like cookie dough. You can mix a little cookie dough in there. I'm, a, I'm just a chocolate guy. I like chocolate. Stephanie from Long Island. How are you? She asked, what do you miss most when you're on tour? Um, I think just being home, being able to ride around our land and uh, just, you know, see the woods. And, it, you know, it feels like a sacred place for me and my wife, our, our place that we have in Nashville. And uh, that's, that's it. We got our dog out on the road with us and, you know, we got our blazer so we can drive and have a good time. And, uh, yeah, not too bad. Adam from Waynesville. He asked, what has been your favorite city to, to perform in? Um, it's a tough question, man. There's been a lot of uh, amazing shows. Um, probably mm -hmm. somewhere in the Midwest, man. Our fans out there are crazy, and it's always it's always insane. A lot of fairs and festivals have been ridiculous and just a ton of fun, so it's, it's really hard to, to just name one show, to be honest. Kayla from Charlotte, who would your dream collaboration be? Um... Someone we're a big fan of, uh, not in the country world, is Rihanna. That would be really cool to be able to do um, a song with her. So maybe one day, fingers crossed, we'll see. Michael from Lawrenceville, have either of you considered going into acting? Uh, you never know. We're, uh, we're always up for a good challenge. We'll see. BK's got an uh, inner actor in him. He's actually a comedian. That's not true at all. So uh, yeah, anyway, so you, never, you never can tell. Dirty liar. Jeremy from Singapore. Far away, props. What uh, what country were you surprised to find out you have fans in Singapore? Thanks, Jeremy. Jaden from Austin. Michael. Michael, what is your favorite hair color? I don't know who Michael is, but we're gonna answer this. Michael Jordan's, you know, favorite hair color. He, I think he likes blonde. He likes blondes. Definitely talking about Jordan there. Justin from uh, Crisona. Crisona. What's your favorite song to cover? Anything Garth Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. What's uh? We do uh, classic. We've done a couple good. Friends in low songs. places. Friends in low places. places. Easy. That's, that's how you win the crowd. I'm in a hurry. It's always fun too. Yeah, Alabama. Especially when you're on the album is amazing. Andrea from Waterbury asked, "What's the best prank either of you have pulled off?" Um, 
I guess it was the uh, fall of 2012, Jake Owen, we were on tour with him in Love and Theft, and Jake was about to have his baby, so one of the last nights of tour, we went on stage in adult uh, man diapers. Huggies, man diapers, with uh, Steven and Eric of uh, Love and Theft, and it was pretty, pretty hilarious. Don't ever think we'll do that again, though. Cassie from Glenwood. What new artist are you currently watching out for? I don't know about watching out, but I'll tell you what, uh, Really been loving the Macklemore album here lately and the Ed Sheeran album. Both of those are great albums and they're killing it. So uh, those guys. Thomas Rhett, Cole Swindell, big they're things. amazing too. Gonna, gonna be doing big things for sure, those guys. Diane from Kansas, what's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? Hmm. Left us a dog on the bus for sure and left, said, left us a little puppy. Forward, forward line. Crazy. Jamie from Tokyo. What do you think is the biggest misconception people have of country music? Uh, some people think it's easy out here, and it's not. It's not. It is fun and awesome, but it's not always easy. It's not always uh, what people may think it is. So uh, we like to have a good time. We like to work hard too, and, and a lot of stuff goes on out here that people kind of behind the scenes people may not see. So uh, it's pretty crazy. Penelope from San Diego. What place or country were you most surprised to find out you had fans in? Singapore. Singapore. Absolutely. Izzy from Charleston. What's your favorite midnight snack? Probably a mm. little brownie brittle with a little uh, vanilla ice cream with some chocolate syrup on there. <laughs> some uh, Heat it up for just about 45 seconds. Willy <laughs> Wonka over here. I can do it upright. Kimberly from Pennsylvania. What is your favorite app? Um, my favorite app is usually Cheese Sticks. You Both mean application way. as in the phone? I don't, I don't know. Probably my favorite app is uh, Master Tour, so we can keep up with what the heck is going on on the road. Our tour manager, management, they fill in uh, everything for every day, pretty much what we need to do, where we're supposed to be, what time. So uh, Master Tour is where it's at. Chris, I do like cheese sticks. And hot wings. Chris from Elkhart, what advice can you give aspiring country artists? We always say, man, be yourself, find your sound, and just do your thing and stick to it. And, uh, you know, it's not always going to be easy, so uh, stick to it and Keep being you for sure. It's the most expensive. Uh, Nikki from Colgate asks, "What's the most expensive thing you've bought yourself?" <clears throat> My toothpaste from Colgate. Um, most expensive thing. We both bought houses last year, so I guess uh, buying some houses was probably was probably up there. Definitely. Nathaniel from East Liverpool. Did you have any other band name options? It didn't take us long to come up with Florida Georgia Line, but I think we had a couple cheesy ones up for at first that uh, we just had to. No use good. Them. Yeah. Susan from Hillsboro, when did you guys first meet? We met, um, I believe it was 2008 at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, through a mutual friend. And uh, so, yeah. Diane from Edmond, do you have any musicians in either of your families? Uh, my mom played the piano a little bit. Uh, when I was a kid, but other than that, that's, that was about it. Uh, my grandma played uh, played piano all through you know her life and played in, in and out of church, and uh, she's pretty incredible, but not not really professionally. Amanda from Los Angeles asks, "Can you speak any other languages?" It's funny you should ask because Tyler actually speaks in his own language sometimes. Well, it's my well, Emerald make all the distance here. Thank you. That's about it. Dorothy from uh, Boca Raton. Boca Raton. All-time favorite cartoon show. Hmm. <sighs> I used to like Doug. Doug. Right? Yeah. Doug. Doug. Um, Back in the day, Doug. I, 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 I'd probably go with Ninja Turtles or G.I. Joe's. I can't remember the All-time name. Cat in the Mouse show, whatever that was called. That's lame. That's all. Okay. Zach from Florida. What's been your favorite part of this journey so far? Uh, All of it. It's been amazing. This whole ride's been, been crazy. Probably just getting to do what we love and, and play shows every night, man, to be honest. And, uh, and and just, you know, experience a lot of crazy things out here on the road. So it's, it's been a lot of fun and an amazing learning experience for sure over the last couple years. Leslie from California, if you have one, who's your favorite rapper? Oh, uh, man. Mine's Lil Wayne. I'll probably go with Wiz Khalifa. Brittany from Buffalo, what's your favorite home cooked meal? Uh, kind of depends who's cooking, but probably uh, 
Probably a good, I like a good Thanksgiving. A steak with everything else Thanksgiving. Put it put it there. I'll, leave, I'll, I'll go with you. Everybody Leah from Niceville. What artists and bands did you listen to growing up? Uh, we listened to everything, pretty much every genre. We love it all. Um, you know, uh, hip-hop, rap, country, Christian. We love it all. So, pretty much anything. Tony from Lake Idaho. What's the best piece of advice another artist gave to you? Uh, let me think. Hmm. I like your advice. Uh, I think Luke was, uh, Luke's always given us really good advice just to be ourselves and uh, just to continue to challenge yourself. And, you know, I think that's, that's probably some of the best advice. We learned a lot from being on tour with him last year, and he's just an incredible guy to learn from. So we try to be, you know, have our ears open when he's talking for sure. Sasha from Cape Town. Which one of you is the messiest on the bus? That would be. This guy over here. Nah, I wouldn't say messy. We call him Hurricane Kelly. I'd say messy. Olivia from Mexico City. When was the last time you've been to an amusement park? Actually, we played a show last week in an amusement park. So, uh, right outside of one. So, we got a couple little coaster rides in and uh, had a good time. Lauren from Lake Tahoe. Where do you see yourselves in five and ten years down the road? Hopefully still doing what we're doing, talking to our amazing fans, playing music for y'all every night, and uh, writing songs, and continuing to rock. So, uh, Couldn't say that better myself, BK. Kevin from Lancaster, would you ever go skydiving? Yes, we would. <laughs> Benjamin from Israel, how many albums do you plan on to make together? As, as many as we possibly can. In thank you guys for life. submitting your questions. Uh, we really enjoyed answering them. Again, thank you to Romeo and Saturday Night Online. It's your boys, thank BK you Tyler, so FGL. We're going to go run and hit the red carpet. We love y'all. See you soon. Peace.